Please be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station, the management, and its network. Welcome back, mga kamilenials. And to wrap up our uh, discussion for today on uh, International Women's Month, I would like to quote ito, idol ko talaga tong uh, taong to kasi we both like traveling to space, no? So, si May Jemison. So, para sa ating mga kamilenials, trivia lang po ng konti. Si Miss May Jemison yung kauna-unahang black woman to travel into space. So, yun nga, parang if you're aware of yung uh, history ng 1960s, napakalaking bagay ng uh, yeah. space exploration. And, uh, Napakalaking pioneer po talaga ni uh, Miss May Jemison. And her quote, Never limit yourself because of others' limited imagination. Never limit others because of your own limited imagination. Mm-hmm. So, ako, very curious ako kung bakit ginamit si Miss May na uh, example to uh, exemplify uh, Women's History Month. So, kayo. I want to get your thoughts. Never limit yourself because of others' limited imagination. Never limit others because of your own limited imagination. I think we're coming from, ano, kasi di ba madalas, uh, siguro nirelate to sa Women's Month, kasi madalas, um, yung women, is nalilimit lang sila, um, basically because of their gender. Pag sinabing um, babae, babae kasi, yun yung isa sa mga quote pala na, na naiinis ako. Parang kapag babae driving, kasi. ah, babae oh. kasi, matagal, ah, babae kasi, mm-hmm. hindi kaya, ah, babae kasi. So, mm-hmm. I think, parang ginamit siya um, to say na parang ang women, dapat hindi sila nililimit. And ang women, hindi rin nila nililimit ang sarili nila based on others' perception of them. Yeah. Um, kung tingin nila is kaya nila ang gawin ng isang bagay or hindi nila kaya ang gawin ng isang bagay, that should depend on yourself, not on your gender, not on other, other people's opinion about you and about Um, ourselves. Kasi sinasabi nga nila na parang, yun nga, bumabalik tayo sa weaker gender yan, kaya hindi niya kaya. Mm-hmm. So, ayun, siguro in celebration of Women's Month, very um, significant to, tong quote na to. Kasi nga, madalas nga, na, na kikage yung women, yeah. um, their ability and their skills, just because, mm-hmm. babae nga daw kasi. <laughs> Ako, ano, just, uh, again, from a third person perspective of observing it lang no parang ang takeaways ko dun sa mga discussion natin from the previous segment was uh, siguro when it comes to yung stereotyping and uh, yung mas primitive na mga uh, reactions or yun nga safety or uh, yung mas mga primal na mga concerns i get it medyo Uh, laging behind pa nga tayo uh, in terms of creating a space where uh, women can feel completely comfortable. Uh, however, uh, ako may mga industries din na for me outside sports na very women dominated na rin. And uh, I guess I just wanted to end then yung segment natin on a more uh, positive note. Like for example, Uh, in a lot of corporate industries uh, right now, so totoo lang, ilan na lang din yung uh, lalaki. Like most companies I've worked in, uh, and I say this all the time, like nasa minority ako nung uh, population ng workforce na straight heterosexual male. Kasi everyone else uh, is a woman. So ako parang... I feel that, that that's a step in the right direction. Sana lahat ng uh, industries maging uh, ganon. I get that uh, there are some uh, industries ahead of the others. Or like for example, uh, the entertainment industry. Kanina, we were rattling off names ng mga hosts natin sa Millennial TV. Puro babaeng empowered, na mga mga ganda, na very smart and outspoken. Di ba? Kaya ako umihingi ng lalaki. Di ba? Sabi ko, bakit puro strong, powerful women ang mga nag-grace ng presence sa ano, Millennial TV? Di ba? Ilan lalaki dito? Chris, ako, 
Adrian pa minsan, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. We need more representation. Yeah. But uh, kidding aside, uh, it goes to show then uh, si GNN and uh, a lot of the media and creative-driven industries, uh, nando na rin naman kayo, uh, sana maging mas maayos kayo na example. Sorry, not na mas maayos. Mas maging, mas maging aware pa yung mga tao doon sa culture na nangyayari na within your own workspaces. If you are one of those progressive companies na nando na, mas powerful na yung mga women. How about this? Uh... Okay, so I think that quote um, is all about mindset then. Because I think for me, as a competitive person, <laughs> I think um, just because someone can do it, can do it, I think, I think tama lang rin na isipin mo na kaya mong gawin yung isang bagay. So ayun lang, because I think yun nga as a woman, I think binibilito tayo ng mga tao of what we are capable of. But I think um, they don't, they're not fully aware na. If, so, if a problem comes along or let's say a specific situation, they don't notice how much we adapt to it or we can solve a problem. But they notice how much we react to it. Because diba, as women, I think our process is like we react to yeah. it. Parang, oh my God, what are we Yeah, we have emotions. Oh, oh natin. yeah. But <laughs> in the end, we are able to solve things and we are able to do it. Mm -hmm. So, yun lang. I think. If anyone can do it, I think women can do it too. I I agree, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Para, um, I, I think when it comes to that, ang abag de decide kasi kung magagawa mo yun o hindi. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, ikaw. ikaw. Yes. Hindi ibang tao. Mm -hmm. Like for example, may open na job opportunity dito. Um, unless it's super super duper technical, that talaga may for example. Uh, like in the uh, modeling industry, that's mm -hmm. may specific gender or may specific role that you need. Or that's what it is. If you have a specification because it's very technical, mm -hmm. of course you cannot really argue with that. Yeah. Like, I can do it, yeah. everyone can do it. Yeah. But you know, it's basic, like a hello, yeah. accountant. You think you're still a woman who is dominated when mm -hmm. it comes to math? You know, the engineering stuff, the architecture. So um, that's just so backward mindset, mm -hmm. yung mga even in school, yes. di ba? Kasi parang, I mean natin, meron pa rin talaga mga subtle um, discrimination mga nangyayari. Yes. Even in the workplace. Na, ang double whammy pa nga eh, na parang if you're a woman and you're pregnant, there's a very slim chance of getting a job or getting yeah. promoted. Kasi iniisip na, mga anak pa to, mga magkakaanak pa to, absent to nang absent. <laughs> Alam mo yun yung parang, Imagine just dum palang sa struggle na yon, di ba? So um, kaya nga kaya ako, ako for for guys out there just support. Wag nang masadong maraming kuda, kasi yeah. we as you know being born male are so privileged enough. Yung palang na hindi dumudugo yung genitals natin is <laughs> such a privilege. Monthly na hindi natin Monthly. kailangan buli ng napkin. I think. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pero agree naman kayo na hindi lahat ng babae gusto mag-level up na like pumantay sa lalaki. Kasi, di ba yung ibang babae gusto uh, parang small sila or feminine. Yes. Di ba? Yes, yeah. I agree. May so, hindi lahat. Ano, yeah. We all have different preferences. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the decision oh, of a woman. Yeah. 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 Ang, ang, ang kayo din yung may nagbabawal sa'yo, di ba? Mm -hmm. Parang... Ang oh, kayong parang medyo may nag-ano sa'yo, nag-gay-strict sa'yo, na parang, eee. <laughs> Pabebe lang, gano'n. Oh, yeah. Tsaka ang pangit, di ba? Alimbawa, mga may partner ka, tapos yung lalaki yung parang unggoy na linggis na linggis. Ganyan, ganyan. Ito, yeah. Parang ako pa yung feminine, di ba? Mm -hmm. Di ba ang gusto ng babae? Kasi usually sila yung small, sila yung flower, yung malambot, yung soft, mm -hmm. you know? oh. pa -R -A -P -P Different pa folks, different strokes. Yeah. You know? yes. I, I think for, for, for some people, they like it when um, equal sila nung kumbaga parang like yeah. um, may may career ka meron career may, I, I have my own hobbies you have your own you have your own strength may mga yeah. but for for some people kasi parang they, they just want to stay with the traditional setup na, uh -huh. na, na, na para kasi that's that's the norm and there's yes. really no problem with that mm -hmm. as long as you you don't 
uh, do it to suppress or mm-hmm. to oppress other people or to take out their rights, di ba? Ito, balikan ko lang yung question kanina kasi maganda yung question eh. Meron ba kayong ina-admire na babae sa buhay niya? I think we can all agree na yes, moms. Moms, moms yeah. of course. Tapos to your mind talaga. Pasa ko pang single moms. Dami. Yeah. Sorry so, ha, my, shout out lang kay mom. My mom made it in a male-dominated uh, industry yeah. in politics. So I was oh, basically oh. raised by an alpha woman. Yeah. And yun nga, ma, I know we argue a lot, but <laughs> oh my goodness, that <laughs> woman is strong. Yeah. Yes. So, yun nga, parang kung benchmark na ng pagiging malakas, shout out dun sa <laughs> mami ko. Mm. Yes. Yeah, uh, Sa'yo, mom din. Mom din, kasi parang ako rin naman, all my life, I've been with my mom kasi ano siya, housewife. Mm-hmm. And I've heard people na tat- tatanungin na, ah, housewife lang, hindi yeah, siya nag-work. Yeah, yeah. Isa rin yan sa mga super offend na offend ako. Kahit bata pa ako, hindi pa super open yung mga tao sa ganitong mga discussions. Sobrang offend na offend ako pag natanong nilang housewife lang. Alam nyo ba kung gano'ng ka- kahirap mag-isip mm-hmm. ng kulam lang everyday Full-time sa bahay? Full-time housewife diba? yung mom ko. On <laughs> yes. top of everything else she's doing. Yes, yeah. and um, yung instinct ng woman, hindi For me ha, hindi lang siya instinct pagdating sa kutob na may ibang babae yung partner. Pero yung instinct ng woman for me is very important. Kasi mahi- masasabi ko talaga na yung instinct ng mothers, hindi lang siya sa selos eh. Parang pati yung instinct nila na alam nila kung ano yung need mo, alam nila kung yeah. kailan ka malungkot. Yeah. Alam, may instinct sila pag medyo hindi mo nakaya and may instinct din sila pag ah, ah, gusto mo na niya mag-space out. Ganun. So, sa akin din talaga, masasabi ko na super empowered ng mom ko. Hindi man siya nag-work when I was growing up, pero sobrang laking contribution din yeah. na nandyan yung mom mo to guide you, to support you, kahit yung mga pagising ng sa ubaga. Yeah. And, ayun, thank you, mommy. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Chris? Sino yung parang most, ano, sa'yo? Nag-iisa lang, mom din. Kasi super plain and simple story. Tsaka, uh, ang kinabiliban ko sa kanya is yung si daddy yung first and last niya na boyfriend. Mm. Oh, mas boy ka ba? <laughs> lang hindi naman, hindi naman. <laughs> How about you? Ako, um, sister and my mom. Sister because I live with her and, you know, parang siya yung nag-provide for my school and all. So, yeah. Ayun. She Ako rin, mom, tsaka yung sister mo. Kasi para sa ano eh, um, single mom. Mahirap yeah. pagiging mom, pero mas mahirap pag single mom. Like, oh. ibang for, for me, that's, Super yeah. power. Yes. Yung Just, you know, pagpapanganak pa nga lang, diba? Yeah, I know. Me, just hindi ko kaya. So, ito. Um, just okay. to wrap it up. Why is the celebration important? Pinag-usapan natin kanina na hindi lang siya parang isang buwan na puro pag-pink-pink lang online, pag-pupusa mm. ng mga flowers yes. or mga greetings. It's um, a celebration and it's parang recognizing kung ano yung mga struggles at kung ano yung mga triumphs tsaka kung ano pa yung mga things na parang we still need to fight for in terms of um, gender equality, di ba? Ito, we have to complete a sentence here. A woman is blank. Okay, so sa so isa na lang. Siguro ako, a woman is strong for me. Zara. Pwede ba iba yun? Konti. A woman can move mountains. Mm, okay. A woman is powerful. Mm-hmm. A woman is limitless. Mm-hmm. Um, a woman is a great companion. Okay. Parang dog. Parang dog. Parang dog. Di ba? Tama naman. Yeah, yeah. Di ba? Yes. Well, di ba yes. sa mga sa, di ba? Behind every <laughs> man super... is a woman, you know, yeah. like yeah. cheering for him and yes. and all that. I, I mean, support system naman tayo. Yeah. Parang, yeah. It's unrealistic to say na parang everyone can live alone or, you know. Mm. And you have to be also a man that's yeah. willing to be behind your correct. woman. Correct. correct. Yes. So it's just uh, I think just being take. secure with your... Uh-oh. I think feminism kasi a lot of people, they think na parang it's for all women, women, women. So mm. It's actually for equality. <laughs> Yeah. Na, na parang you can be who you are na parang whatever gender or sexual orientation you have you have a right to uh, not opportunities to, yeah. to equal uh, treatment to fair uh, treatment or, or anything like that it's not 
parang pag masyadong self-centered yeah. or self-serving na na celebration, di ba? Right, Waki? <laughs> so, isa na namang honestly very fun and uh, very insightful uh, ep- episode, no? So, uh, Miss Jazz, thank you, thank you, thank you once again for uh, being Joining. ready to spot yes. para doon sa mga absent nating mga kamillennial hosts. And if you wanna take this time to plug your uh, shows. Yes, uh, thank you so much for always welcoming me, Millennial TV. And you can also watch me on weekdays and weekends at News Force, 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. and evening hourlies at 7, 8, and 9 p.m. Every day. Ayan, thank you. Catch us every Sundays, 8 p.m. here on Golden Nation Network, Channel 1 on GSAT. And follow our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Just search GNN Millennial TV. And see you guys again next week here on Millennial, Millennial TV. TV. This, this is our time. time.